This is the world's clearest sandwich. And it was like insanely easy to make. Yeah, just kidding. This was actually the worst experience of my life. This sandwich broke me. Who in their right mind would ever think about making a clear sandwich? Two, one. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. I just, I lied, I lied. This is not my kitchen. <sighs> this is my kitchen. Step one, we need to define what a sandwich is. G give me a second. <laughs> let's, let, let's play a little game, shall we, all right? Is this a sandwich? How about this? What about this? If you said no to absolutely any of those, you're an idiot because they're all sandwiches. Because sandwiches are literally just anything with two pieces of bread and then something in them. That's it. That's that's what a sandwich is considered. So we're gonna do bread, cheese, meat, and ketchup. And we're gonna start with the ketchup. So let's start cutting up tomatoes, shall we? Okay, the entire setup is changed. We need to cut up tomatoes. Oh, wow. They say that I need to cut this up so that it can blend better, but what do they think this is? You think my blender's a- We can just pour all of this in there. Okay, so now I need to empty out this here little ketchup bottle. Time to strain the tomato juice. It's been steaming for about a couple of minutes. Oh, wow, I didn't realize it was that chunky. Now I'm just gonna try to like stir this around. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, don't get me wrong, like there's still some pulp in here for sure. Like it looks like it could even just be separated just a little bit more, like one more like really thick strain. Anyways, now we gotta go get our egg whites. We're gonna throw this into the tomato sauce and as the egg cooks, it'll remove some of the color because it binds to the protein. I've been letting these babies cool as instructed. We're gonna throw a couple ice cubes in there. What if I could sell this? Do you think people would actually buy it? Like if I just sold clear ketchup? I think there's a market for this kind of stuff. Time to put this into the boy. And then give that a good whisk in there. I think I've already been cooking for like a solid like hour. And like all I've done is cut up tomatoes and then put them on the stove. And that has taken me an hour. Okay, I've up a little bit, quite a bit actually. Okay. So this is not supposed to look like that. It's not supposed to be this separated. There's supposed to be like a layer of egg on top and like everything else on the bottom, but that's just not how that shook out. Let's see if I can like dip, lift, pour. It's just, it's so everywhere. Why can't I just pour this whole thing in there? Who comes up with this stuff? Who's like, oh, you know what I'm gonna do today? Make a clear sandwich. It's yellow, but I don't know. Okay, so this is the tomato juice. But it's not supposed to look like this. There's not supposed to be a yellow tint. And then this, this is all the stuff that was in it. You can see it's like separated. It's so gross looking. That is really good. I could just straight eat this. It's like a cottage cheese but with like a tomato -y flavor. Oh my God. Okay, it is a new day with a new mindset. I, I have come today after after the defeat of yesterday, the humiliation I took, I've realized that I can be better and I, I can do better and we, we can do better. So I spent all last night scouring the internet thinking, you know, what did I do wrong? Am I the issue? Am I the problem? And the answer is yes. <laughs> I realized that there are a couple things that I did wrong with this batch that I'm going to try to correct. So I left in the refrigerator all night and I thought it would get a little bit clearer and that definitely didn't happen. It's still very yellow. <laughs> Yummy. I have pus in my mouth. And in my oh, that bad boy looks clear. Oh, it looks so clear. You can barely even tell there's anything in there. Okay, just kidding, it still looks yellow. It looked like it worked, but like, it's yellow. I present to you piss ketchup. I mean, it's very clear to see that this this one was a fail. I, I kind of forget that sometimes like, you know, like cooking is kind of like science. So I, I do things, you know, that I'm like, oh, this is a quick little shortcut. Why has no one thought about this? Why has no one made this easier? And then I end up with this. This is not clear ketchup. This is mustard. We have made mustard. I've been thinking about this all wrong. Everything, everything I've been doing has been completely wrong up until this point. I, I thought, oh, make a clear sandwich, easy. No, not easy, not easy at all. But today is different. I'm just gonna jump into making all four things in one day. Now, why do I have the confidence to think that's possible? I don't know. But uh, this time I pre-typed out everything I need to do. So there is no confusion. We need to first prepare the bread. Okay, that is exactly how much I need. So I need 20 grams of arrowroot, which I have right here, arrowroot powder. Oh, okay, 20 grams, boom. Next is potato starch. I need another 20 grams of potato starch. Okay, that was a little too much potato starch, but that's fine. Whisk constantly. 
until dissolved. Okay, I think the real reason that I'm doing it all in one day is because it's kind of like an ego thing at this point. I'm not gonna let this clear sandwich defeat me. Guys, we all know what this looks like. This looks so bad. It's like goopy too. Oh, did you, did you see? Okay, all right. Anyways, I mean, loosely, that's the definition of bread. I saw everyone like skip some and then go to the next one. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I have no idea why, but like, I'm too dumb to like be better than them. So I'm just gonna do what they do. He also said that if you don't have a fan inside of your oven, you're screwed. I don't see a fan here. So we're gonna turn on this fan and pretend like that's what he was talking about. It has been brought to my attention that it actually might be important that the oven is not a convection oven in just a regular oven. But you know what is necessarily a convection oven? This air fryer right here. Is there a possibility that it blows up? Because I've never heard of anyone using an air fryer for 90 minutes straight, 1 billion percent. We're gonna have to try it because this is for Mick Science. Okay, this is where we're coming in with Angelia's big brain moves. I got MSG. I heard it's really bad for you. So what I have been described is that it just takes flavor and it intensifies it. And I'm gonna really need that, especially for the tomato sauce, because I really want it to be pretty pungent. Um, issue is, I don't know how much of this stuff you add to things. So we're gonna wing it um, and hopefully not die from an overdose of MSG, monosodium glutamate. All right, now salt. I told you guys, I'm gonna flow today. Like, like I have this all typed out. First thing, second thing, in between. I am prepared. Watch this all good as shit anyways. We are making a chicken clear sandwich. The closest thing I could find is a Russian dish that is just meat jello. And meat jello is a delicacy, or it's not, I don't know. I guess it's pretty murky, actually. Actually, yeah, I think I think if we run it through and like try to clarify it more, I think this will actually work. The solution to trying to clarify meat is either you could do an egg raft like we did with the tomato, or you can do a meat raft. I have just chopped up chicken breast and chicken thighs, and they said it should be minced, and this is lightly chopped. Oh my God, this one is way clearer. Than I'm just gonna use this one. Oh. I hate to say it, but we might have, it, doomsday might be upon us. I checked in here, just, just as like a, oh, oh, actually, wait, okay. They were flat. These were literally flat. And now I think they might be rising back up, but I'm so terrified. The bread might be what gets me. I heard that the bread was one of the hardest things to do because it's just, it's so fickle. I mean, these are just like little plastic sheets. Are they clear? Yeah, they're clear because these aren't bad. Like these could be like bottoms, but like I was really hoping for at least one raised one so that we could really get that sandwichy look. Oh, I can now take the meat off of the burner, start straining it. Oh, that's heavy. Okay. That is clear. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, wow, babe, try this. I mean, cause look how clear it looks in the spoon. It's actually really good. I'm gonna turn it into a sandwich. Oh God. Okay, this is the moment of truth. These ones are supposed to be good. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <gasps> oh! Air fryer coming in clutch. Oh my God. And they said a girl like me couldn't do it. No one said that. Okay, finally, I have the tomato. Holy f that shit is clear, dude. This is half water, half tomato juice, and it actually tastes better than this, because if you think about it, this is just raw tomato sauce, and ketchup doesn't taste like raw tomato sauce. And it works out because it's significantly clear because it's diluted, because it's already clear. Now, some of you may have noticed that we didn't make the cheese, because unlike every other thing we've made, there is no recipe for clear cheese. So I went to Reddit. <laughs> Is clear cheese possible? I think you need a very loose network. I feel like even if it is possible, it would be extremely nasty. I would love to see it. Someone attempt. just said, no, r slash stoner thoughts are over that way. But one of these caught my eye. You could make jelly with cheese extract. Y'all, it's here. <laughs> so after going on the interwebs, I found the one and only cheddar cheese extract. Hold up, cheddar cheese extract. They say that this stuff is strong. I'm not talking like, oh, baby strong, no. Look at the ratios, it says right here. It is in red and yellow, so everyone knows how dangerous it is. I'm terrified to actually smell it. Okay. Oh! You know what it smells like? It smells like apple cider vinegar. Oh, that burned really bad. It does have a cheese taste to it after it burned my tongue uh, because of how powerful it does, it is. It does actually have a cheese taste. So we're gonna use this and we're gonna get cooking. Let's start. 
with the meat. Okay, for this, we're gonna be using these gelatin leaves. What are the ratios here? I'm gonna use three. I'm gonna use three because I grabbed three. Okay. I'm just gonna assume that's an inch. We're gonna allow this to sit for 10 minutos. So let's get that cranked. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes, but let's check on it. Oh, okay, yeah, that's definitely different. That's crazy how clear that is. You can just see through it. Can you see me? I'm clear. Now we gotta go take this out and put it in our boiling mixture. I'm pretty sure I didn't need this much gelatin. It might be too hard, but when I think about meat, I think about something pretty goddamn solid. And we are going to strain. It looks pretty goddamn clear. It is just the slightest bit of color. And we're gonna fill these all the way up to the top. That is all of them. So let's just take out a couple more of these. Let's get these cut up. Guys, I don't, guys, I don't know how much to add. Oh, okay, that's, that's enough. Maybe, I'm just gonna attempt it. And let's pray to the clear gods that this works. Oh, oh my God, the smell up my nose is outrageous right now. Boiling this? Probably not a good idea. Okay, these, these are gonna be really thin. Thank God this one has a spout. Okay, so now we have the cheese, we have the bread, and we have the meat. I know, we gotta finish the ketchup. <laughs> I know, don't look at me like that, I know, unfortunately. Um, this is old ketchup. This is not the ketchup we want. We don't want this. We're gonna dump this out, we're gonna start anew. I won't lie, I am stressed. <laughs> it's time. It is time to defeat the final boss of clear foods. Tomato. 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 This is the moment of truth. I'm literally shaking. My hand is shaking. It has a little bit of a yellow tint, but I'm not even worried about it. <sighs> okay, all right, all right, deep breaths, deep breaths. Let's get through this. I don't wanna hear shit from anyone about the yellow tint. It's a very light yellow tint. That is clear. You can see through that. Now, if I add a little bit more water, it would still probably taste like ketchup. <sighs> okay, I'll, okay, I'll do it. Give us a nice little mix. And we are going into the fridge it goes, and we're just gonna let that set. Guys, I think we did it. Okay, let's calm down everyone. Everyone calm down. Everything is just setting. So I'm gonna let all of those set for two hours, and then I will come back and we will be making our sandwich. This is the moment. It's done. The things are set. It is time to assemble. The Avengers. I don't even know what to start with first. Okay, let's let's grab out our little plate. The meat. Okay, let's just get a nice little thin one right here. <gasps> oh, okay, a piece of it ripped off. That is perfectly clear. Oh, what is happening to my face? <laughs> Dude, holy shit, I have done it. That is clear. Meat. Let's get out one of the, okay, let's get out a bottom. I'm gonna put this one, I'm gonna lift this up. You're gonna slap, it's gonna get impaled on a piece of it, but holy crap. The cheese is gonna be the worst. This one, I can smell it. It's disgusting, okay. Oh, it's just straight apple cider vinegar. Okay, it ripped, it ripped, it ripped. It's okay. That is also very clear. That goes on the sandwich. We have a couple layers. We need to put on the ketchup. I don't even know how this is gonna come out because like, I, mean, I guess it's just gonna get squeezed out. Oh my God, look at that. That is a clear sandwich. I don't know why. I think it's just because I've literally spent days on this and like I am just shook that like it actually turned out okay. This was not supposed to turn out okay. Look at that. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go get someone else. I don't wanna try this alone. I don't wanna try this alone. Okay, babe, you can assemble your own sandwich. All right, let's get you a little bottom. This is your bottom. Okay, and now for the delicious meat. Uh, do you want cheese on first? Or you want ketchup on next? <laughs> is that not a clear sandwich, babe? That's not a sandwich. Ready, we're gonna pick it up. I think we should just go in all in one bite. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. You need the whole thing. No. All right, ready? Bye, bye, bye. Th three. <laughs> one. Babe, one. Hold on, hold on. It's melted. Babe, it doesn't smell that bad. It smells that bad. It does not the smell cheese, that bad. The cheese extract smells so bad. No, it's it's just cheese, babe. It did really burn my tongue when I tried it, though. When I just tried the extract straight up. What you mean it burned? It burned. All right, three, two, one. 
Tastes horrible. It's so bad. It tastes horrible.